Hi and welcome Gemini. This is going to be your general reading for mid-July 2020. For general reading for all Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I already cleansed the cards and pre-shuffled. Okay, so we're just going to go right into it, Gemini. A new moon in Cancer is going to be on the 20th. And this is about families, the sign of cancer, water. And here, the first card that came out is, as you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now, Gemini. I love it. And I am feeling, Gemini, that there's a magnetism around you right now. And the energy that you're feeling is prosperity coming into you and this has to do with wealth I see a lot of, of uh, Gemini's here yep <laughs> yes the timing is right for this new venture a happy outcome follows your positive expectations I see a Gemini here who has worked on their self a Gemini who has been doing affirmations a Gemini who knows their self-worth a Gemini who has healed a Gemini who's put work into a business a project arts music a Gemini here who is ready for prosperity because yes the timing is right okay at the bottom, it's saying, spend time alone in nature, meditating upon your desires and intentions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. Okay, Gemini, this is beautiful. Meditating will help you now to gain a positive perspective. There's actually a calling here for you to do so and ask the angels for assistance and help if there is a feeling of you feeling negative about an energy coming up here where prosperity is coming in and divine timing is at hand so that you can keep moving forward without negative thoughts to hold you back. We're going to do a Revelation Tarot reading. And this one's going to be for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for mid-July. What do we need to see for Gemini Collective? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus mid-July. Mid-July. What is the energy for my Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign? What is the energy? I pre-shuffled the other deck for the clarifiers and you showed up to your reading. It's at the bottom of the deck, the lovers. Oh my gosh, Gemini. The sun is shining this mid-July on you. This is Leo. This is the sun. Gemini, this is the baby on the horse is also significant for symbolizing the lovers, Gemini. Because we are the baby of the zodiac. Do you see this? This is the sun bursting on you, Gemini. The sun is shining on you. Um, I was feeling the magnetism from this. Look at this. Do you see? And it's saying prosperity is coming to you now. You attract gold. It's like you're a magnet for gold, Gemini. And the sun is shining on whatever you're doing. And yes, the timing is right. This is bringing a positive energy here into the sign of Gemini. <clears throat> One card. One card. Where is Gemini now? One card. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, yes, you are on fire, Gemini. You are coming up as the queen of wands energy. You are taking action. You are fired up. This is someone who is filled with passion. 
There's a very passionate Gemini here that I am I'm picking up the energy, whether you're male or female. And I'm feeling an energy of bravery, um, an energy, fiery, a psychic individual Gemini here who's very psychic, very magical. A Gemini here who's mastered the energy of the Queen of Wands, the fire energy. Yep. Wow. The situation. What is the unseen forces for Gemini? One card. What is the unseen forces? We have the tower moment here. <laughs> and there's someone that's thinking very clear here. Okay. The unseen forces. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Whoops. Cards are falling on the floor. But we're going to pick this up. And I don't like normally doing that, but we're going to use it. Ace of Cups. And this usually means this is what's coming next at your door. And you're self-sabotaging it. Love is coming to your door. Literally. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces here. Ace of Cups. A new beginning here. And the universe is bringing it in. This is the situation that's at hand. Yep. What is the trusted one? One card for the trusted one. One card for the trusted one. Gemini mid 2020. July. Too many cards. Gemini, there's a judgment here. We'll keep this one here. Wow. And for the outcome, what's the outcome here? What is the revelation for Gemini? We have Pluto here with the moon. Pisces of significance. I have Scorpio with the tower. And the outcome, wow. Golden opportunity. Strength. Leo season. Yep. At the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords. Gemini, this is you. And this is an awakening here. This is the hand of God, the divine source creator, bringing in truth here. Bringing in clarity here. Bringing messages of awareness, okay? This is a vision, a new idea. Something here that sparks you with fire, Gemini, okay? You are looking at this new idea and you know it brings prosperity to you, Gemini. Whatever project you're working on is bringing prosperity to you now, okay? So we're going to do clarifiers on this. And with the Queen of Wands coming up um, as your energy, you have la learned to master the fire energy here. This is mastering your passionate you could be a Reiki healer here. I'm, I'm looking at a Queen of Wands here. Queen of Wands is very much into the esoterics. She's very fiery, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is what I'm picking up on here with the energy. And with her, she's got the soul of a free-spirited. She's vibrant, she's determined, okay? This is a determined Gemini. Yes, very determined. With the situation that's on hand, let's get the clarifiers. And I wanted to show you, this was pre-shuffled and cleansed. The lovers, you're here in your reading. And there is a decision here. And it has to do with a soulmate connection here. I feel a divine counterpart connection here. And I see you 
looking straight forward at someone, someone that's an intellectual, someone that could be air in their chart. I'm feeling Aquarius here. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat chakra. Someone that's not communication. There's no communication coming in clear here is what I'm seeing. You have a lot of major arcana here. And this King of Swords is not looking at you. This King of Swords, there's messages coming in, okay? But the Ace of Swords is what's bringing the clarity in, wanting the clarity, okay? This could involve a relationship here, a soul connection. Now, why is the Queen of Wands here? Why is the Queen of Wands here? Why is the Queen of Wands here? Mm -hmm. There can be someone here that's clear thinking, that has power, authority, a divine masculine, okay, energy. This is your energy and now I'm seeing that there's competition around you Gemini okay there's others that see you with this fire energy that you have this passionate energy but it's a good energy because now with Mars coming back into Aries it's pushing and fueling us to move forward forward on creating and transforming and moving up yes there's something you were going back and forth on and there's competition here there's others that can be watching you and they have a lot of there's a lot of people that have a very competitive speaking about you but the Queen of Wands doesn't care here. She's Eight of Pentacles. I said it. Gemini, there's a golden opportunity here with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Prosperity will come to you. Okay? Prosperity is coming to you now with the Eight of uh, Pentacles. And there's something you're going back and forth. And it's like other people's opinions, let them stay there. Those are their opinions. Tell them thank you, but that's your opinion. Because whatever you're working on here is bringing you great prosperity here with the Queen of Wands energy, okay? This is someone feeling very confident and putting in the work. You're dotting your I's and crossing your T's here. And you're working on the 3D realms. I'm seeing wealth, prosperity, money here. What is the tower in the situation? So now this is Scorpio energy. And this is a shift in the consciousness. A new slash coming in. Tower. Please clarify the tower. Please clarify this tower. Power is clarified by the death card and the ten of wands. You ending a cycle here where you were you were just ten of wands burdened, carrying more on your shoulders than you should have. The death card is coming in here where the universe is coming in because this is the transformation. Yeah. You're transforming here. There is a Gemini here who will not be the same. You will completely transform. You won't even speak the same way. There's a deep transformation that's taking place and the universe is bringing this in. One more, one more for the, for the Scorpio. Lots of Scorpio energy here. Yep, you got 10, 10. There's an angel message that you need to look up and you can do this on Google and Google what is the meaning of 1010. This is ending a cycle here. And there's a cycle here that you master, Gemini. 
you mastered the energy of the fire okay the etheric realms you've mastered what is the unseen forces king of swords and the unseen forces there's a clear thinking energy here someone who takes the lead a divine masculine an authority figure here Someone that there was a karmic connection with, okay? There was learned lessons here. Someone who learned lessons. Someone who takes no shit. Wow. Ha! Ace of Pentacles is in the unseen forces. Gemini, you might not see this because it's in the unseen forces, but I know you're feeling it. I know you're feeling it. You've got from the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. Unseen forces. Karma cleared. New beginning. Yep. New beginning. And this could have to do with an earth sign. It could have to do with a Virgo. We have the Hermit here. And this is going within someone here that's gained a lot of wisdom and not a lot of knowledge a gemini here okay with the karma card and the ace of pentacles the light and the darkness a lot of healing here a lot of clear thinking because the king of swords and the unseen is you this is someone that i believe what i'm feeling is that cleared a lot of karma from the past here and you're not taking no more bull crap here. You're taking the lead. And this is a Gemini here who's making a very logical decision now and working, putting the work into something that's going to bring stability here with the Ace of Pentacles. This is prosperity. You got prosperity all over this. Now tell me why is the trusted one? You have Archangel Gabriel blowing the horns here. With the judgment, this is Pluto. And this is saying there's a start over here. A higher calling. You're being called a higher calling. With the judgment card. Facing your fears. Your anxieties. The moon card. Pisces. Now, with the judgment, there could be a judgment, a bringing back of a relationship could be here. Someone that you are looking in on or they're looking in on you. But there's an energy here of being curious, okay? Very curious, an energy of having those insecurities and those fears. But you feel the judgment call. You feel the rebirth. Wow, with the death card here and the judgment, this is a huge rebirth. Yeah, and ten of pentacles, seven of pentacles. Golden opportunity here, Gem. This is bringing a family back together. I see children, I see three generations here. I see a grandfather holding a grandchild. I see um, a dog here. I see that there's a pause here. Could be concerning the pentacles, the money, the wealth, okay? But I see someone that's feeling insecure maybe about these pentacles. But knowing that the 10 of pentacles is here with the judgment, there is a rebirth here prosperity inheritance is coming back possibly with the judgment card this is something you thought was gone something that you thought would never come back again it's rising from the ashes and there's blowing of horn and it's calling for a rebirth here there's something that could come in this is an inheritance this is money prosperity wealth yep what is the self-sabotage? Now, self-sabotaging, Gemini. Are we self-sabotaging the love offer? 
this is what we're saying. We're going to look deep into this now. Why is Gemini self-sabotaging? Okay. There could be in the past you felt that there was an unequal give and take here. energy. Wow, you manifested this, Gemini. This is you. Okay. Wow. 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 And this is Mercury. Mercury retrograde we just got out of, Gemini. And Mercury is out of the shadows. This is you. You doing the affirmations. You having the positive attitude. You using the esoterics. Okay. You having all that you need within you, okay? Everything that you need to make this happen. You've manifested this. Yep, Gemini, your wishes are coming true. Have faith, have hope, and do not block this new beginning. It's true love. With the ace here, yeah, and look what was at the bottom, the Hierophant. Wow. This will be equal give and take. Get out of your head, Gemini. Get out of your head. The truth and clarity is coming. Do not block this Ace of Cups here. This is commitment. Okay, I'm seeing Page of Swords here twice. These are messages coming through to you. And the messages that they're bringing into you is someone sees you here as the Ten of Pentacles. They see longevity with you. There's true love here. Yep. And the sabotaging energy is where you might not be wanting. You might be a single Gemini and looking into just your business right now. But I see a golden opportunity and it's asking for an inner strength that you have. Because the outcome here is having the strength to start a new beginning here. And it could be in business and in love. Why is the strength card in the outcome? What is the strength card in the outcome? Wow, your ships are coming in. Yep. Wow, strength twice. It's twice. Leo, a Leo of significance. The month of August, Gemini, July and August, Page of Cups, a message is coming through, and this is a love offer. Love is on the table, and it's true love. Yeah, you are going through a huge transformation, and with this being in a self-sabotaging energy, and with the situation at hand, the universe is bringing it in. Yeah, the universe. This is a Kudalini awakening here happening. Wow, okay, so that is what I have for you. Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectation. Wow, Gemini. I am sending you tons of love and light. This is a wonderful reading. Gemini, expect prosperity, true love coming to you July, August. The universe is bringing it to you. I hope you liked this reading, Gemini. If you did, please hit a like and subscribe. And I hope you follow us. And God bless you, Gemini. Have a great day.